Well, it's just about time to change our thread here. You can see that this little tag end is very small in size and it's starting to get frayed at the end. So what I do is, of course, we measure our two arms length and I'm just going to feed this thread through the eyelet. of our new thread and I'm going to do the same thing poke through one side catch the stitch on the other and I want to feed it through that same hole I left off with. I pull the string through, and now you can see I have two tag ends. This one is the fresh string, and then this one's the old string. So I want to proceed by making four more stitches, and of course, adding pine needles the entire time if needed. You can also see that our base is starting to get large. I'm just about done. I just want to do a couple more coils around and then we'll start forming the basket up. So we have one coil, or sorry, one stitch, and we'll do that three more times. So you can see we have four stitches with that new thread. One, two, three, four. And at this point, I want to hide these tag ends. So here's the old thread, and I usually count two coils down and in the center, I'll go ahead and poke that through and catch the other side. And what that does is it gives it a nice clean look. Everything blends in. There's no knots up top. So you don't want to tie any half hitches or clove hitches or any square knots up top. It's just going to make your basket look sloppy. So I poke that through. And I pull that tight. And same thing with the tag end on the fresh thread. So again, I count two coils down. And I'll poke through, catching the other stitch. Feed that needle through and pull tight. And now I can trim up both of these ends. You want to be careful you don't trim the stitch. So you just want to give it a bit of room. And now we have our new thread. Everything's blended in, and you can't even notice the difference. So at this point, I'm just going to continue the same pattern catching each stitch. I'm going to wrap around a couple more times, 
and then we'll start forming our basket up and out. So once I have a couple more wraps, I'll be right back with you and I'll show you how to start coiling up.